and then get up to before dawn to go do more school. And most of them went to work in there somewhere. And we're not even going to talk about eating and sleeping. Um, I'm not quite sure how they did it. This has been an intense year, and I've only been around for part of it. To the graduates, I'll bet you guys thought this day was never going to come. <laughs> You are not psych tech students anymore. You're graduates. <laughs> and I am thoroughly impressed with each and every one of you. You guys have stepped up this year. You came into a program in transition with many new instructors and an untried format, and you walked through it all. There were parts that were frustrating, just a little, uh, and you stuck with it. When you didn't understand things, you teamed up with each other and worked it out, and you kept your tone professional, and that's an extremely impressive thing to do. Being a psych tech is a demanding job, not just the hours and the schedule issues or the at times challenging and dangerous situations and people. But you are the person, the professional who is responsible for providing care to people in various unusual populations, developmentally disabled, mentally ill, people who manifest both challenges, people who are incarcerated in part because of their mental or developmental issues, people with addictions, people and people who can no longer live on their own because of age or disease. So this is a very, very diverse population of these folks have all trained for the last year to work professionally with. This work requires that you...